All right, Chi Town, let's do this, baby. You guys rock. You guys watching think I'm crazy, but this is what I was made for. What an incredibly beautiful city at night Chicago is. Absolutely beautiful. I'm coming. Let's see if I can run. Well, maybe I hit the edge of the building. There we go. First wow, first calm, go. cool, and collected. Nick Walenda, no harness, no safety net, and was at one point blindfolded during two high wire walks between Chicago skyscrapers last night. Here with us now, the daredevil himself, Nick Walenda. Also, Willie Geist is joining the table now. He was the co host of Skyscraper Live on Discovery. So you got to stand there breathlessly while Nick was doing this work. Uh, it was pretty amazing. It is. I've come back now twice for this. We did the Grand Canyon last time. Yeah. And I swore after he finished that I survived that one. I'm not going to press <laughs> my luck. But Nick keeps bringing you back. Hey, Nick, it's good to see you, man. I'm sorry I couldn't be there with you in Chicago. I'm back here in New York. You were incredible last night. Good Everybody's to see you. No problem. still talking about it this morning. Have you reflected on it now? Does it feel different since you've woken up today? Yeah, you know, I'm just still excited, you know, to be able to fulfill another dream, two more world records. Um, you know, just t thinking back on it, you know, uh, you know, walking up 19 degree incline and uh, and then the blindfold. It seems surreal the day after all the time. You said going into this that you were more concerned about the blindfold walk. It felt to me like that's probably the way it turned out. I was struck, I said to you on the air last night, about how confident you were on that first walk. I mean, at the Grand Canyon, you went down to the knee and you had all us clutching each other, digging our nails into each other. And this one, you were kind of chatty. You wanted to talk to me. You wanted to talk to Natalie. We were ready to let you do your thing. But we could tell almost right away that you had this. Yeah, you know, I trained very, very hard. One thing I learned over the Grand Canyon was even though I trained so much, I should have trained more. And I never wanted to be in a position where as I was crossing the Grand Canyon, I thought, am I going to be that embarrassed that I have to go down and hold this wire and wait for help? And I was like, I never want to be there again. So I trained even harder and prepared even more. And to be honest, I think I've never done two walks in a row like that and challenged myself like this. So while wow. I was doing that first walk, I was already subconsciously thinking about the second one. So I kind of raced through the first one just to get to the second one. Hey, Nick, uh, Donnie Deutsch, congratulations. I, it's just beyond incomprehensible. What are the Jedi mind tricks? What, what is literally you walking across? What's through your mind? Are you thinking about what I'm going to have for breakfast tomorrow? G give me the mind games. You know, you know, depending on the situations, I can be very relaxed on a wire. I've done it since I was two years old, so I am very comfortable walking on a wire. Now, of course, with different situations with wind and that wire was moving last night, I'm pretty focused on what I'm doing. Yes, I can talk, but I'm also very focused, uh, you know, and talk to others and answer questions, but I'm really focused on what I'm doing. So not a lot goes through my mind. I try to keep everything off my mind. And because of that, it becomes peaceful at some at times. You know, I'm raising teenagers right now. That can be challenging and stressful. And those troubles go away while I'm on that wire. You're not recommending yeah. that for people yeah. raising teenagers. No, no. Right. Okay, no, good. Okay. Nick, Don't this try is this Thomas. Real quickly, though, the spectators on the balconies, did that bother you? Couldn't see it. It didn't. You know what? I was born to be a performer. My entire life, I was, uh, I've performed. But you're right, Whoa. I couldn't see them. But I definitely <laughs> heard them. And having them here, actually, a live audience is what I live for. And having them here actually wow. encouraged me, inspires me, and makes me work. Uh, and, and I become more of a, a performer than anything else. Well, congratulations. It was fantastic to watch. It was nail biting and nerve wracking. Really? How many viewers but, last year? It was like 12 million or something? Yeah, it got up with all told, it was like 21 million in, in the U.S. alone. And he, and he keeps one upping himself. So now he's got another one he's working on right now, which is he said is going to be bigger than this one. We will wait to see. Nick Walenda, thank you, sir. Much appreciated. See you, Nick. Thank you, guys.